Hello everyone. So today let me show you, sh share with you how I uh, use org mode to capture uh, meeting minutes. Now I talk to a lot of people and uh, when you talk to, let us say your clients or, uh, you know, when you are trying to make sure that you have a track of, or basically you, you store your notes somewhere. Of course, you know, I, I make notes on my notepad, but wherever, wherever possible, wherever applicable, uh, I try to use uh, org mode because when you have things nicely written down somewhere, you can do a lot of wonderful things with it. For example, when you make uh, notes, you can, of course, you know, create some tasks for you so that you can track it somewhere uh, separately. Now, it is, of course, very simple. My usage is uh, not massively uh, different from, or it's not really like extraordinary. It's very simple, but I think it works for me. So I thought I'll probably share with you. So, of course, you know, I start a new, and this is something that, you know, you can do straight away like whenever you have emacs open just create a new buffer and start typing and then of course you can save the file or you, you you can already open the file which is already there in most cases it is already open so i have like a template to you know insert some you know title subtitle which you can do very easily in your dot init file which i think i showed you so meeting meeting minutes right you can also have like this uh, maybe a separate template for meeting minutes where these things can be filled in, but I don't really mind typing it. Now you can of course insert the date and this date is a bit, uh, I mean, the, in this particular case, meeting minutes, I don't really worry too much about the date and the author name because that is usually me. Now I prefer to keep my, 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 my minutes organized by dates. Now there are a lot of ways of doing it. The way that works really nicely for me and i think i guess for everyone else is uh, basically use uh, nothing but timestamp now when you are using timestamps like this it can be a bit challenging because uh, it might appear in your in your agenda and that is why i use also if if i'm talking about like uh, a task i usually have like a to do in front of it but i can live with it because I don't, I mean, although it is like a task and of course you have your org agenda anyway, so you can always decide if you want to include those files. But I basically have all these uh, files uh, or like a whole directory, which is part of my agenda. Now, let us say you, uh, for, each and every, for each and every meeting, you may want to have like a brief summary, like uh, kickoff, right? Like first meeting with your client, right? Now, what you can, what you, I mean, ha having a date here is useful because you want to do certain things based on the date. And uh, I, ha I have a similar setup for, or basically the same thing that I do for, uh, not a setup, but same format that I use uh, for basically capturing notes for each day. Now, I, I might meet the same client on the same day again, but that usually never really happens. If, if that happens, I basically use the same date. So basically it is like the grouping is based on the date. Um, another meeting, right? To discuss uh, something. <laughs> All right. Now within this uh, date, I basically use very simple thing, which is like a bullet. Sometimes I also use, uh, no, I actually use this basically, you know, not, not bullet, but I, I use bullets later on. I have something like this, attendee and uh, the actual discussion and next steps that is it so this actually works for me because i can i, I can basically add here uh, okay i i was definitely the i was definitely the uh, attendee because i was the organizer and uh, i can also add uh, someone else ramesh or uh, harry and Mike, whatever. So just enter the names here. And of course, then it comes through the discussion. So this is an important part because when you're, let us say in a call with someone for one hour, you want to capture a lot of things. And uh, and uh, I basically use something like uh, a simple bullet point, like, uh, and I try to keep this like linear. I try not to go back up. So just record the, the, the notes uh, and following the, the flow of your meeting, like uh, Ramesh talked about a new project, blah, blah, blah. And uh, we have to improve Jira usage. 
uh, there is, is a requirement for a new uh, GSM, which is Jira Service Management Project, and so on. Uh, and rarely, or not really, but because you may have uh, a need to, uh, l let us say someone is talking about, oh, okay, so there is a new requirement for a Jira service. Man because when you have a meeting, you may have like multiple discussions and you want like maybe a grouping. So in those cases, I use uh, basically, you know, just like a indented bullet, which you can do using sh shift alt, shift, let me check. Yeah, shift alt. So, um, you know, point number one and uh, point number two and so on. So this works okay for me. Another uh, topic and so on. So basically, good thing about this approach is that if there is a, there is a need to, uh, I mean, usually I keep my next step, which is like the, li the list of items. And for some reason, I'm basically, oh, I, I press the wrong shortcut. Okay, so if let us say the next step is like uh, set up a demo by by this date, right? So you can have like multiple items here. Another action item, which is basically due by Sunday and so on. So basically, uh, the moment I do this, it is basically uh, not massively complicated yet uh, useful. And it works for me. And I thought I'll probably share it with you because you may want to do something similar. And my recommendation would be to not over complicate this because you can have like a uh, like a maybe a template or maybe you can uh, create this file which is a bit more uh, structured i mean having a structure is fine but imagine imagine you're making this file while you're talking to someone and uh, if you are if you're only using org mode for a for, for a while then doing this is like your i mean your fingers will, will do all the magic like where to use asterisks where to use uh, hyphens where to insert dates and make some items as uh, like high priority items or maybe low priority items and so on. So yeah, this is it. Um, I, I, and I thought I'll probably share it with everyone. Let me know if this is helpful. It is helpful. It is helpful for me. All right, that is all. That is all I wanted to talk about today in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new. Thank you very much. Bye bye.